And I felt like I hit a wall, literally a, a concrete wall. I felt like I physically hit a wall, and that was it. God was not going to deal with me anymore. Mm. So he gave me Deuteronomy 30, blessing of curse, life or death. He says, you choose. And I knew in that moment that I had to choose mm. life. God's spirit shall not yes. always strive with we'll man. strive with man, exactly. So you know what I did? So I was so hardened. And I said, you know, I said, God, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I don't even like you. But if you're real, I challenge you right now to show me who you are. Awesome. Mm -hmm. But you know what happened, Dewey? Uh, the beauty of it, it was, there was no hurricane. There was no earthquake. There was no rumbling and tumbling. But I knew that I was changed. Yeah. The Spirit of God had changed me. The drugs, the alcohol were instantly gone. The, you know, just the mindset, everything. I went outside my room in Fort Lauderdale. I was in Dania at the School of Marine Engineering and Navigation. Went outside and I saw the sky like I never saw it before. Mm -hmm. The green leaves, I started crying. Mm -hmm. God brought that repentance. And then I started shining. For three days, I had a supernatural shine on me like Moses. People would run up to look at my face. I freak out and jump under my bed because I didn't know what happened. And I had never read the Bible. I, I didn't know what the Bible was. I looked up Deuteronomy 30. I never read the, I thought the epistles were the sisters of the apostles, you know. And <laughs> yeah, I, I never read the Bible. And, and then I said, wow, this is cool, you know. And, and, and let me tell you something. To God be the glory, for 23 years, we've been preaching all over the world. We haven't looked back. And you, you, you had a glow for three days. For People three come, days, and you had days. no laser surgery or anything. Nothing. Have you ever met Mickey and uh, Nikki Cruz? Yeah, I met them two weeks after. I went to the TVN station, uh, Channel 45, and I was up on top. I didn't know he was going to be on the program. They say, here's Nikki Cruz. I start pushing people out of the way. <laughs> Paul Cross said, grab that man. You know, but lay hands on him. You know, he can't come down on the program. And I just wanted to you sure. know, say thank you, you know. But I met him after the program, and I told him, and he was crying, and I was crying. Yeah. And, you know, uh, what a testimony. Now, you know, that you, one little seed, that one seed mm -hmm. from TBN, somebody leading you to Jesus, now you've taken this back to the dark places Crazy. in the world back to where other people aren't going and tell us what's happening well we're going to i just got back from india two weeks ago we were in israel and we do the prisons all over the world we do prisons in russia we do them in australia cook islands we go over to uh, cuba just came back from cuba yeah. last year uh almost colombia peru and we go to the least we do the leper colonies i just did a leper colony in india i was in bangalore and boy i tell you god god melts your heart you know yeah. to see what i was before and to extend myself and hug these people. People tell me, no, you can't do that. You got a saran wrap. I said, no, Jesus didn't use saran wrap. He went out there and hugged them people yeah, and blessed yeah, them yeah. And, and healed them. And we've had the dead rise. We had blind people seeing. I did a service in Cook County. Check this out. Uh, I, I had four, uh, 20 minutes to go and, and we're in the middle of Cook County. I had like 12,000 prisoners. I got the Mexican mafia one side. I got the Black Panthers on the other. I got the Aryan Nation on the other. And they're just about to erupt. I'm freaking out. I'm human, man. I said, my Spirit. I don't know, God, you know, not by power, not by might, but by your spirit. Your spirit better be here. And I'm preaching real quickly to, get, you know, to shut it up, you know, have a salvation call. This guy starts screaming in the back. And he's screaming. And I stop, man, I'm thinking, you know, I got 4,000 prisoners here. They're going to freak out and riot. I'm going to get caught in the middle. You know, I ain't getting out, you know. And, and, and I told the guy, I said, tell him to shut up. You know, he's making too much noise. And they went up there and he started screaming more. And I said, bring them over. We're going to cast those devils out. I got 10 minutes, you know. <laughs> bring them over here, you know. I'm going to be like Paul, lay hands on him. And he's going to, you know, be set free. When he came over, Dewey, he had been blind for seven years. And he started seeing that moment. God be the glory. Praise God. The power of the good news. Hallelujah. To save and to heal. Somebody yeah. out there right now is just like you were. Praise God. Many. To different degrees. Mm. They need a deliverance right now. Yes, just Lord. like you had. Now that same Lord that is in you, that came into you through the good news Praise they need God. right now. Yes, Lord. Lead us. Yes. Lead us in that prayer. Somebody take a hold of God right now. How do you get a hold of him? Trust in the Lord through these words. Yes. This prayer will set you free. Thank you, Father. Well, you know, the, the Word of God says we, uh, God doesn't make exceptions of persons. What He did with Peter, Paul, and John, what He did with the great apostles, the great men of God, He will do with you. 
And if you're out there afflicted on drugs, waiting to commit suicide, just call on the name of Jesus. Challenge God tonight that yeah. he's going to change your life around. I break every spirit of generation curses, hereditary curses, witchcraft curses to the viewers that are watching right now. Every spirit of retention, retaliation, backlash, aborted dreams, aborted visions, every spirit of Jezebel, Antichrist, death and destruction, suicide, we break it. And we speak it through the airways right now that they have life and life in abundance. That God and the Holy Spirit and His greatness will come and shake everybody that's listening through this, yes. through viewing through these stations, knowing that there's a great God and that God has an eternal purpose for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Milton you know, Albury, I just wanted to mention one thing. I don't know if the time's up. I was so impressed by uh, what Evans was saying about the men. You know, we have yes. to be, a, and I'm trying to be a model. And we just have a family ministry. We live by faith. But one of the greatest legacies that we've put forward are my children. I got a child right now. His name is Joshua. He's preaching the gospel. He started preaching at five years old. Now he's got his own church, over 100 people. He speaks in Greek. He's been all over the world. And I see Matthew Barnett with the baton being passed on. Sure, the sure. great cloud of witnesses sure. in, in Hebrews 12.1. Yes, and these kids are yes. going out where we're never going, yeah, doing. That's right. And because you said it with Isaac, the same thing. Daddy, Daddy Praise is this God. role model. Praise right God. now, go to that number, make a call, because your deliverance is very important Praise that you God. testify yes. about it. Let the devil know right away what's happening. Immediately, he knew when he accepted the gospel that he was changed. Praise Couldn't God. explain it all, but he knew he was changed. So go to that phone right now. There's somebody waiting for you to agree with you in prayer.